All right, welcome back and thank you for staying with us. You're still watching News Central now. Now, still talking about the economic crisis and uh, the uh, federal government giving each state government, and this particular statement is attributed to the uh, Senate President, Godzilla Lapabio, stating that each state was actually given 30 billion naira to solve the current full crisis bedeviling uh, the nation. We actually have public affairs commentator, Gwenga, Ayonuga joining us right now. Hello, Benga. Thank you so much for joining us on the news. Yeah, good afternoon. Thank you for having me on this. Yeah. All right. So, so many questions are actually being asked about, uh, you know, this particular uh, topic, talking about uh, the 30 billion naira being given to state governments. What are your thoughts about it? And why do you think we're just finding out about it? And what does this say about how transparent our government is to the masses? Thank you very much. Even before this announcement, I've been critical of the state governors because before now, uh, I think since around July, August last year, the uh, amount of money coming to the coffers of each state has increased drastically as a result of the saving that is claimed to have been made from the poor subsidy remover. Take, for example, a, a state like Ogun State, where I come from, is reported to have had about 66% increment in the amount that comes to them from the federal coffers, uh, even before this 30 billion. And you would ask yourself that the level of responsiveness of the government or of the governors in the state, with the exception of the governor of uh, Borno State, uh, Governor Babagana Zulum, whom we are hearing about, but uh, even hearing about it based on my experience, I still want to doubt because uh, there are some places where governors knows how to paste postal, uh, do uh, radio and TV theatrics without actually really doing anything on the ground. But at least we are hearing constantly something happening in Bruno State. But apart from that state, you'd ask yourself that what are the other 36 states doing with the increment in funds coming to them and then this special increment in funds coming to them? Now, uh, I listened to uh, Aisha Yusuf earlier on uh, saying that it seems that the uh, federal government is tactically trying to abdicate its duty and trying to say, oh, we are not the one to, be, uh, to blame. It is the uh, state governors to be blamed. I want to agree with her on one part, but on the other part, we know that the presidency or the people at the federal level cannot solve our problem. And that is why we have state and the local government. And if some things have been delegated to the state and funds have been made available, we should query our state governors because if our state governors are doing enough, pulling their weight as much as we expect the federal government to pull their weight, then things would not have been as bad yeah, as but this. Benga, but why do you think that the state governments have actually been quiet or silent about the whole you know, additional fund allocation? It is because of this uh, unitary system that we have of uh, federalism. It is easy to blame the federal government. Everybody finds it easy to direct attention, to direct blame to the federal government. If not for the kind of person that uh, Senate President Gosula Fabio is, you know, he was the one that made the statement about sending prayers to their email account. And because the kind of person he is, maybe the kind of local politics they play in the state where he came from, they speak their mind without, uh, you know, the, the fear of hooks, whose ox is God. And so he's used to it. Now coming to national prominence, he can't change from the way he talks. And if not for that kind of person that he is, that makes him to be able to give all this information. I'm sure that many governors are not happy that these informations are coming to light, you know, because... If, if the information did not come to light, they wouldn't be having people questioning them. So this united uh, Nigeria that we have is making a lot of people to hide behind one finger to do a lot of bad things. If we had a system like the UK where Scotland take care of itself, Wales take care of itself, uh, Ireland take care of itself, uh, Britain take care of itself, and then little it ties them together at the federal level, then we will not be in the mess that we are in. And that speaks to the call by maybe the House recently for us to go back to the parliamentary system. But I don't see that one is a discussion for another day. So I see that the governors themselves do not. And that is why in many states, they, are, they hate the Freedom of Information Bill. If any journalist comes to them to ask about Freedom of Information Bill, they make the journalist disappears. We've, we've 
heard of several allegations of that across many states across the country. And so we, we should question more the state governors for their inability to be transparent and to show for, I mean, you showed earlier on in the news, uh, the interactive session that the Lagos state governor is having with, uh, the, uh, with the people okay. through the media to tell us what plans are on ground, what they are doing. And if all the other state governors are doing the same thing that Lagos state government is doing, at least we'll be carried along, we'll be able to know that within XYZ uh, timeline, this and this are what to expect. So, okay. but that is not the case across uh, all the states. All right, well, thank you so much, Benga, for joining me and uh, also shedding more light on this uh, issue. Thank you. Thank you for having me.